our monthly mission intention, we often pray for particular regions of our world where the faith has been recently planted and is growing. This month, Pope Benedict directs our attention to the region where Christianity began, a region where Christians are in a minority and are in danger of disappearing. We are praying for our brothers and sisters in the Middle East. Because of war, discrimination, and persecution, Christians are fleeing the Middle East, and there may come a day when no Christians are born or live in the very land where Jesus Christ himself was born and lived, died, and rose. This is such a deep concern for Pope Benedict that he called for a special assembly of the Synod of Bishops for the Middle East, which met in October 2010. In an exhortation he wrote afterwards, Pope Benedict said, Life in the Middle East is rich in diversity, but all too frequently restrictive and even violent. This affects all the inhabitants of the region and every aspect of their lives. Christians who frequently find themselves in a delicate position feel keenly at times with weariness and little hope the negative consequences of these conflicts and uncertainties. They experience frequent humiliation. They know from experience that they are often the victims when trouble breaks out. Many Christians are now seeking more favorable horizons and places of peace where their families will be able to live a dignified and secure life and spaces of freedom where they can express their faith openly without fear of various constraints. This is a heart-rending decision. It has a profound impact on individuals, families, and churches. It dismembers nations and contributes to the human, cultural, and religious impoverishment of the Middle East. A Middle East without Christians, or with only a few Christians, would no longer be the Middle East, since Christians, together with other believers, are part of the distinctive identity of the region." End quote. How will our Christian brothers and sisters in the Middle East be able to persevere in the midst of the conflicts and persecution. Only with the help of the Holy Spirit who can strengthen them with the gifts of fidelity and perseverance. It was the Holy Spirit which formed the first communities of Christians in the Middle East, and it will be the Holy Spirit who will help them remain strong in spite of adversity and turmoil. Christians are necessary for peace in the Middle East. As they follow Christ, they are living examples of forgiveness and reconciliation which, along with justice, are necessary for peace. May these words from the conclusion of Pope Benedict's exhortation on the Middle East inspire us to pray with him this month for Middle Eastern Christians. The light of Christ is meant to spread to the farthest ends of the earth and to the hearts of all men and women, even where the darkness is deepest. If we are to be lamps bearing the one light and witnesses in every circumstance, it is important to choose the path which leads to life and to leave behind the barren works of darkness, resolutely casting them off. By its witness, may the brotherhood of Christians become a leaven in the whole human family. May Christ's followers in the Middle East, Catholics and other Christians as well, be one in courageously bearing this difficult yet exhilarating witness to Christ and thus receive the crown of life. May they know the encouragement and support of the Christian world as a whole. May the trials experienced by some of our brothers and sisters strengthen the faith and fidelity of all. <laughs>